contaminated welds can be frustrating and cause a weak weld that can be unsafe. Make sure you check the following causes out to cure these issues when welding. As a rule of thumb, TIG welding requires 100% argon. Make sure your bottle has the correct shielding gas in it and the bottle is open and isn't empty. Many gas regulators have a separate gauge for tank pressure to help you monitor the bottle level. Also make sure your machine is flowing approximately 15 CFH when you're welding. Make sure that you are working in an area where there isn't an outside wind or a fan or breeze that could blow your shielding gas away. Check to make sure that your torch connections are tight at the welder and the torch. A loose back cap or cup on the torch could allow the gas to escape before it reaches the workpiece. Using a gas lens, make sure that the screen on the collet body isn't plugged or blocked by weld spatter or dirt. Also make sure that the metal is free of any contaminants. Remove any paint, rust, or coating first, and then use acetone or low VOC pre to clean any grease or residue off of the metal. Don't forget to clean the edges and the back side of the weld seams as those hidden areas could cause occasional popping or spitting of the weld puddle, which can leave a pit in your weld. Make a practice also of cleaning your filler rod with a scuff pad and low VOC pre or acetone before using for the same reason. Use a dedicated stainless brush or scuff pad for TIG welding prep and low VOC pre or acetone for your final clean when welding. Make sure that the torch angle isn't too excessive as the welding gas could blow ahead of the puddle instead of over it. Excessive stick out of your tungsten as well as holding the torch too far from the workpiece could cause the shielding gas to float away from the puddle instead of staying over it.